The long holiday weekend is a perfect time to celebrate and reconnect with family and friends. But are you worried about a loved one you think might be battling addiction? Do you know the warning signs? Mark Turner of the Greenhouse Treatment Center of American Addiction Centers is here to help. Mark, thank you for being here. You actually have 34 years of experience treating people suffering with the disease of addiction. So why is it so critical to know these signs? Well, I think that family members want to be able to assist their loved ones before it's too late. Okay, so let's talk about some, some of these signs, maybe some physical signs that we should keep an eye out for. Well, some of the physical things would be disruption in sleep, inability to sleep, changes in appetite, uh, clammy hands, changes in eyes, pupils too large, too small, restlessness. Uh, these are all things you should maybe be a little concerned about, and these are just physical changes. These, these are changes, and then we need to think about behavioral changes, sure. like poor performance in school, problems at work, somebody that has a hobby that they've stopped uh, having an interest in, irritability, suspicious behavior, increases in paranoia. Okay, now if you suspect any of these things with maybe a loved one, a family member, or even your child, what can you and the expert staff at Greenhouse Treatment, what can they do for them? Well, I think the first thing is, is for folks not to ignore it and to reach out for help. And we are available. Uh, we have people that answer our phones 24-7. We also have our website, greenhousetreatment.com, where people can find out about our treatment services in Grand Prairie and Arlington. Of course, we're talking about addiction, but what other services do you provide? Well, we treat co-occurring disorders disorders that are such as anxiety and depression and we treat the whole person so we treat with uh, good nutrition yoga art therapy music therapy um, our building is a former spa so we do have a pool we have water activities and spa activities now, one more time for, for parents who might see some of these these signs whether it's physical or behavioral they should probably give you a call first but what's the one suggestion you would give them I think the lines of communication ask questions in a yeah. respectful manner when you see that somebody has a behavioral change or is experiencing difficulty, ask them what's going on. Find out, be respectful, and if somebody has a problem and you've set some limits, no needs to be no, as opposed to continuing to enable that uh, addictive behavior. And at what point should they give you a call? Anytime that somebody feels that they have a loved one or themselves that need treatment services, please contact us. We can help. If we're not the right place for you, we can connect you with other resources uh, in the community. And I imagine some, some of these patients, potential patients, won't ver be very receptive to getting questioned. So what would you suggest for parents to handle that? Well, I think sometimes there may be a need for professional interventionists and we can assist people with getting that. But I also think that it's just really important to not quit stay in there, continue to talk about these issues with your husband, your wife, your children, your parent, um, so that they know you love them and want them to resume a really happy life and not be caught in addiction or end up dead from this deadly disease. And before it is too late, of Absolutely. course. Don't quit, stay on top of them, but I say that the best suggestion is to give you guys a call. So here is that number to call and ask more questions and inquire, it's 972-848 0263 for more info and visit greenhousetreatment.com slash hope for more.